you guys know how I said um, I'm going to wait to beat uh, Watch Dogs Legions um, when I get my new console. Well, I just spent the last, I'd say, three hours beating the game. I didn't expect to actually beat it that quickly, um, but there is some more side missions that I can do and all that stuff, so all that. And then I'm going to buy the season pass. Uh, I'm going to get the season pass when it goes on sale. Uh, so, yeah, so uh, there will be... Uh, there definitely be more content for me to play on that game when the new console comes out, but um, I did not expect to actually beat that game. Like I started around like 9:30, like starting. I started around 9:30. It's like okay, I'm gonna play this for like half an hour, an hour. Then I'm gonna start recording an episode of NHL Be a Pro. Then 12 o'clock rolled around and I beat the game. Didn't know that I was playing it for that long, and. I didn't know that I was actually going to beat the game. So it only took me a couple of days to beat that game. I'm kind of, um, I don't know. I, I expected a little bit longer of a game. But I'm guessing if I played it for three hours to the end, the game has to be... And I played it for multiple days. I played it since it came out. So, yeah. So if you guys are looking for a really good game to really jump in for the next generation console, uh, I should I should tell you guys you should wait until the new consoles come out and you guys, when you get a new console, you should wait to play this game because it will definitely look a lot better on the new consoles than it does on this console or like the last generation console like the Xbox One and the PS4. Though definitely the game will definitely look better on both consoles when the new consoles come out. But yeah, it was a uh, to me I wish I had a little bit more content when it comes down to it, but um yeah, anyways, we're going to jump into this game right here. We're going to face off against my favorite team, which is the Anaheim Ducks. So we're going to jump right into it. And see if we can actually win this game. We won. We lost our last game, unfortunately. Um, we are seven and five now. They are five and eight. So it looks like we are going to win since they have a, that amount of losses already. But um, any game can turn the tables around when it comes down to a game or a team. And we're playing at Honda Center in Anaheim, California. And um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get it started here. Yeah, so I didn't expect that um, that Watchdogs would be beaten so quickly. Even though that I played it probably for like three hours a day to four hours a day, um, which is crazy to play a game. Um, but I just got so so caught up into the story. That's why that's why I didn't want to record anything of Watchdogs because I wanted to get caught up in the story, and I did. And I love the story of it. And it was a it was a really good story. It's a really good game. I'm not gonna try to. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try not to ex, uh, spoil anything for you guys uh, when it comes down to this game because I want you guys to enjoy it. If you guys are looking forward to buying the game for the next generation or for this generation, you guys haven't bought the game yet or something like that. I highly recommend that you buy it. It's actually a really good game. It has a really good story behind it, and I cannot wait for. <laughs> For Assassin's Creed because I know I'm going to play that game for hours on end. Hours on end. And I don't know what our defenseman was doing, but he just left them wide open right there, unfortunately. But um, yeah, so if you guys are looking for a next generation game that is really good, uh, really good like story driven wise and different, I highly recommend uh, Watch Dogs Legion. And I'm definitely going to buy the season pass. I don't know when I'm going to buy it, but I'm definitely going to buy the season pass so I can get some extra missions and stuff and some stuff, extra stuff unlocked. Uh, there's still, still a lot of little stuff that I have to do in that game uh, regarding like gathering little tiny things and completing these little tiny like little objectives they have in the game. Uh, I just beat the main story. So uh, I just beat the main story. I did some side missions, tried to... Um, try not to play any of the main missions, um, uh, but I decided just to play the main missions, and then I finished the game in three, four hours around there, which is, 
which is crazy. It's crazy. And you guys might hear already, I have a little bit more energy in this game or this episode than I did last episode. Yeah, so I have a little bit more energy in this episode. Um, hopefully it is coming across that I have a little bit more energy and all that stuff. So, yeah, so I just I just played that game for a little bit. Then I, then the reason the reason why I found this out, the reason why I, I sounded so tired in that is because I was just finish up playing the game and it was like 10 o'clock and I was like, okay, this is, okay, I should record an episode and it should take me this long to record it and this long. I was worried about uploading that video and I was worried about making that video at the right time and all that stuff. And that was icing. That's my bad. Um, yeah, so I was I was like, okay, I'm going to take my time with this. I'm going to wait a little bit later so I can get a little bit more energy and just relax. Because I was done playing games with my friends. And after I'm done playing my games with my friends, my body's like, okay, nighttime. Because <laughs> that's, that's when we're usually done playing is when everyone starts going to bed. And you're like, okay, it's bedtime now. So I just waited up a little bit longer, took a little break, um, drank some water, and just just took a little break. And it actually helped me quite a lot, actually. Um, so that's why I have a little bit more energy in this in this episode than I did in the previous one. And I think my body is getting used to recording a video every single day and uploading every single day and actually staying up longer um, for these videos or making these videos because I record at nighttime. And that's the only time that I have for recording. Um, it's spite from when I'm doing live streams or anything like that. Then, then I do live streams during the day because no one wants to watch a live stream at 1 o'clock in the morning. So I do those during the day. But only when I have free time. Um, I haven't had, haven't had free time in the past couple of weeks to even do a live stream. I've been busy working on other things. Obviously, recording these episodes every single day, it's kind of it's kind of hurting that, in in my opinion. It's kind of hurting that because I'm, mo I'm mostly focused on doing stuff daily for you guys, uploading stuff daily for you guys, and coming up with possibly a new series. We still have to upload Back to Europe Episode 2. Um, I still have to record that, so we still have to do one of those. I think I'm going to do a live stream, like I said before, in those I said in that video, that I was going to do a live stream of that series I think I'm still going to do a live stream it's just I don't know when uh, probably I don't want to promise anything to you guys and then if I promise you guys then if I don't then uh, if I don't do a live stream then that's breaking the promise which I don't like doing so I don't know maybe I'm gonna say maybe, maybe this weekend I'll I'll play some uh, NHL 21 on stream. Uh, I usually like to do different games when I do a live stream. Uh, I don't like to just to stick with NHL content when I do live streams because having a live stream it gives me a chance to play different games and all that stuff, and which I love doing. I love playing different games, and actually I don't like playing. Well, I like playing NHL every day. Don't get me wrong. I love playing this game every day. It's actually really fun since the since the changes they have made to be a pro. It's a little bit more engaging, but to play it every single night and all that stuff, it gets kind of boring. It gets boring quick because it's just the same. It's the same game, but with different stuff added. Obviously, I do I do play EASHL with my friends online and everything. And that's different, and I have like a community club where you guys can join also and I made a video about that if you guys haven't seen that video uh, make sure you guys look it up it should be NHL 21 EASHL somewhere on my channel I forget where it is maybe I'll leave a link in the description down below if you guys haven't seen that video um, yeah so I do I do have a community team um, of you guys actually so if you guys want to join the team you guys can and um, all that stuff so and also, I have a Discord. So if you guys haven't noticed already, I've been pushing my Discord every single game, every single video. So if you guys want to join and communicate and uh, join this awesome community that I have, uh, there'll be a link in the description to my Discord. I'm pretty sure there's a link in the description of this Be a Pro. Um, I have different descriptions set up for obviously Be a Goalie and Be a Pro and Back to Europe. I haven't updated those yet. I just only updated NHL Be a Pro's description. 
I haven't updated the the be a goalie or back to Europe uh, description yet. I have um, templates. I have um, I have my description saved for each series that I do, so I can just copy and paste it, and uh, it makes it a lot easier. It definitely makes it a lot easier to to do these to make them upload quicker and all that. It doesn't make it upload quicker, but I don't have to type in everything in the description. I just have everything saved. Uh, for the description, I just copy and paste it on which series that I'm actually doing and all that stuff. So all the descriptions are pretty much the same. It just has different words in it to obviously for the video and all that stuff. Like it will say NHL be a goalie instead of be a pro. And the hashtags will say NHL be a goalie instead of be a pro. And then the hashtags for back to Europe will be back to Europe instead of be a pro. So all these... I have description set up for every series that makes it a lot easier for me to to make these videos so I don't have to worry about typing out the description every single time I upload. It's just, it makes it a little bit easier. It's one of those little tricks that you do um, as a YouTuber as you, as you grow. You can start from the beginning and all that stuff. It's just, it's one of the things you learned in the beginning and you just stick with it and um, you find stuff that actually works for you regarding upload videos or recording videos or anything like that i forgot the new rule it's actually in be a pro also if you have your helmet uh taken off you have to skate right to the bench or put it back on immediately if you can't find it or if you can find it put it back on immediately but if you can't find it you get to skate right to the bench and it actually uh it actually is in this game so but um anyways yeah so i have everything set up regarding uploading and all my tags and I have everything pretty much set up. I actually have this program or not this program this extension that I have uh, for my YouTube channel. I'll pay about $10 or like $8 a month for it which is not that much and it tells me um, what tags to use and what are good uh, what are good tags and what is going to get the most searched. What is the most searched term on YouTube it's giving me those results and it's called TubeBuddy um, yeah so I have a affiliate link um, in the description below if you guys want to join TubeBuddy um, TubeBuddy uh, there'll be a link in the description to it and also there'll be a, uh, a discount code for their services so if you want to use their services you have a YouTube channel and stuff and you want to try out the services there'll be a discount code in the description below um, it helps you out, it saves you money, and also it helps me out by giving me some money. As you use that code, it saves you money and gives me money. So it helps the channel out, um, helps the channel out a little bit, um, when I do get revenue from that and stuff. But I haven't been really pushing it in my videos or anything like that because I wanted to try it out, see if it, it actually works. I want to try it out for a couple of months and see if it actually works, and it does work. Like, it, it does work. Don't get me wrong about that. It does work, which is awesome. So, it just it just helps me manage my YouTube channel regarding, like, um, regarding tags and how to write the description properly, see if my video is going to get demonetized or anything like that, or if it complies with the uh, Kappa, which is, I forget what it is, but YouTube sent everybody, pretty much every YouTube partner, a thing about about that and all that stuff it's about like protecting children online anyways so <laughs> yeah we won't we won't get into that YouTube type of stuff like a background of it but I do use like a third party it is approved by YouTube so it is approved by YouTube and YouTube allows it to be used on their website and all that stuff so it's safe it's safe to use so you don't have to worry about that and uh, all that stuff. So anyways, we have tied it up. Guys, we have tied it up. And also, we scored a goal, which I cannot believe. Oh, I thought I thought the pass was going to go through. If the pass went through, that would have been that would have been sick. There we go. There we go. Nice little push. Wait. Anderson is back on the Ducks. <laughs> Anderson's back on the ducks? That can't be right. 
I thought I was a centerman there for a second. I thought I was at the centerman. I shouldn't poke too much. I don't want to get a penalty for tripping. There we go. All right, let's just skate to the bench. Get a nice, uh, nice clean line for the last 15 seconds of the game. Jeez. You need to call me on the bench when there's only 15 seconds left. I couldn't stay on the ice for 15 more seconds, coach. And we score in the last 10 seconds? And we score? Oh, boys. We're having a good game, this one. This is going to be a good game and a good episode because I don't sound tired. <laughs> I don't sound dead on the... Uh, on commentary here but anyways we're gonna jump into the third and final period I'll see you guys when we get started I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a drink of water and I'll be right back all right guys I am back and we are starting the third and final period here I took a little bit longer of a break than than I needed to I stopped the recording well I didn't stop the recording but I continue recording even when I'm like taking a little break and watching a couple YouTube videos or anything like that I still record um, it's just a, just a blank screen pretty much, but I stopped the recording around like 22 to 23 minutes. I believe I didn't stop recording, but I just stopped talking pretty much because it's the end of the second period and I'm coming back around 32 minutes in the recording. So I took a little break, listened to some music and <laughs> watched some reaction videos to that music. I don't know if you guys watch reaction videos. But I watch reaction videos quite a lot. I've been watching one YouTuber in particular with reactions because I think he he's he's the best reactor here on YouTube, in my opinion. It is No Life Shack. If you guys haven't heard of him, make sure you guys check out his channel. If you guys haven't seen his reactions, you probably have done seen his reactions. It's probably been in your recommendations on every single video. Uh -huh. But if you guys haven't seen his videos, he probably does the best reactions. On any like all over YouTube in my opinion and I don't usually watch that too many reactors and actually follow them and actually see what they're doing and everything like that so yeah make sure you guys check them out if you guys haven't already oh my god what a huge hit what a huge hit so we got the lead we definitely need to keep that lead oh by the way somebody did comment a challenge down below in a couple of my other videos um i completely forgot to mention it in my other videos i mentioned it in this one uh it's probably gonna be the next episode um where i do that challenge i am sorry um i just been obviously busy recording these videos and all that stuff i haven't really been paying attention to my youtube comments which uh which sucks it, it says it was two days ago it was two days ago so by this time, it would be three days. So I'm sorry to uh, DMAC26. Sorry for that. It says, next game, uh, that is, there is no challenge. Get three block shots. All right. We already, we already got, I think, two in this one. But the next the next episode, we'll really focus on that challenge. Um, get three block shots. All right. And he also commented on the other day, too, uh, my goalie, when I talked about the Xbox One refrigerator or the Xbox Series X refrigerator, which was a pretty cool just a way to embrace the meme and actually make that into like a promotional item and make that as an advertising item to promote their product. It's like, yeah, just embrace it. It's definitely the way to go. The same thing happened about PS4 or PS5 too, a million memes. Yeah, every, every single generation is going to get... Uh, every new console, especially this generation, is probably going to get every single meme looked after it. Especially Xbox releasing two of the two different uh, design of consoles. They released the Xbox Series X that looks like a refrigerator, which they made a refrigerator. And then the the Series S or the Ser yeah the Xbox Series S. I keep on forgetting these names. They're they're a little bit confusing. Even though that I'm an Xbox person, I I admit that they are confusing. Um, yeah, so, and the other meme was they looked like the, the Series S looked like a boombox, which is, or looks like a Bluetooth speaker, like a, like a really, I think they should make a Bluetooth speaker now out of the Xbox, like, platform, like the, the same dimensions as the Series S, 
but make it in a Bluetooth, like make it in a speaker. It would actually be pretty cool. Actually, it would be really, really cool. And I, th I think somebody should do that. Uh, there's probably a Bluetooth speaker out there that looks like the Series S. But I think Microsoft or Xbox should make that. I think it's it's actually a really cool way to promote that console as well because in like Bluetooth you're not you're not going to put a CD in a Bluetooth speaker or anything like that. So it it kind of goes hand in hand with obviously people are going to buy that Xbox if they enjoy playing on Game Pass and obviously all the games on Game Pass are digital and which I have gone 100% digital with my games. I haven't bought like a disc version of a game uh, since the since I got two disc versions. I only got two disc games of an Xbox One game. Um, I only got I only got two two uh, two discs, and that's all. Out of the the four hundred or three over three hundred plus games that I have um, that I have bought over the years, I only got two disc versions. Uh, only two discs of Xbox of games. So, I have gone pretty much 100% digital, which I think a lot of people have done, and that's that's good, and also bad at the same time, especially with the Series X, which will be a lot harder to store to store games on it. Obviously, it only comes with one terabyte hard drive. After the OS takes up some, you're going to get five, you're going to get 820, and then um, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare takes up. I think 120 gigs or 160 gigs on Xbox, which is absolutely insane. Which shouldn't be a thing. And I know they get to pick. You get to pick and choose what you want to install and what you want uninstalled. So most people are going to leave multiplayer installed and Warzone, or you're just going to have Warzone installed and not the campaign or anything like that. I think most people uninstall the campaign. When that uh, when that feature came out to save some space, but it's still absolutely ridiculous how big that game is. And looking at it, like looking at like looking at the the two games that I have for the Series S and X that are digital that are optimized, they're going to be optimized. They're going to be updated for the new generation of consoles. Is Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed, and uh, Assassin's Creed comes at like 36 gigs, which is not bad, which is actually a really good size. And I believe, um, I don't believe this is like the full install of Assassin's Creed, but it could be, which is like another 45 gigs. When you guys, when you look at it, like 45 gigs is not that bad. Like it's not that bad. Obviously that doesn't include any like save data or anything like that. It just includes like just the game install, but Looking at that and looking at like NHL, NHL went from like 36 gigs or like 39 gigs when it first came out or when it was first announced. We looked at it here on this channel or I talked about it looking like it was that it was that like 39 gigs or like I think it was like 60 gigs, which was absolutely insane. Um, There we go. There's our hat trick. We finally got a hat trick, boys. We finally got a hat trick. We're really rocking in this game. We really stepped up of this game, in my opinion. We really, we really, really stepped in and actually killed it. We actually killed it, this game. That's our third goal of the night. Obviously, that is our hat trick. I'll take it empty netter. I didn't want to go to the bench. Our coach wanted us to go to the bench. I'm not going to the bench. I'm not going to waste an opportunity of getting an open netter, an empty netter. Sorry, not an open netter. It's still open, but... I'm not going to, I'm not going to take, I'm not going to risk, I'm not going to, I'm going to take that chance of getting an empty net. And there we go. There we go. We get, pro, we get line score and likability and management all in the one, which is, uh, which is good for us. So I actually have my microphone turned down or my microphone, like, like monitoring where I monitor my, my voice and stuff. See if I'm speaking too loud or too soft. I just had it like all the way down and I couldn't barely hear myself. So I just actually turned it back up now. <laughs> I must have, I must have turned it up when I was watching some YouTube videos because the audio passes through automatically. But anyways, that is the end of the game. We come out with a win, a huge win. 
I thought it was going to lower the difficulty because I wanted more goals. I wanted to score more goals in this series. But, um, yeah, it looks like I'm just going to keep this difficulty for now. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already. If you go come across this video and you guys enjoy this and enjoy seeing NHL content daily, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you can come notified when I do upload a video. And another way you can come notified when I do upload a video is to hit that bell icon uh, right beside the subscribe button. If you guys hit that, you guys will get notified when I upload a video. But also, if you guys don't want to hit the bell icon, you want to get any notifications from YouTube, you guys can head over to my Discord server and actually join that, and you'll actually get notifications when I post a video. Um, Discord will send you a message saying, I sent, I uploaded a new video, check it out, and um, all that stuff. So it's all set up there. It's all automated for me. I set, I set it all up, which I'm pretty proud of myself, setting up that server. Um, but I'm going to add some more stuff in the future when it comes down to that server and all that stuff. And also, if you're a YouTube member, you get access to the YouTube member-only chat. Um, I don't know why. Right now, it's not working for some reason. But I'm going to try and figure it out. Um, so, uh, if you want to become a YouTube member, there'll be a link in the description. But also, there'll be uh, a little join button right beside the subscribe button. Um, if you guys want to join and become a member and all that stuff. So, and also you get access to my Discord server and member only uh, community posts and all that stuff. The perks will be when you click the join button, you guys will see all the perks there. But anyways, my name is Prez. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track, keep my head up.